Lucy. Hi, Trini. How are you? That's delicious. Guess what we're doing today? Do, 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 do. Oh. Shimmer, shimmer. Do, 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 do. So I think that, you know, people know my love affair with um, sequins, Lucy, but there's some people scared of sequins. You know, it's they're very loud, very loud. You know, they're, they're the loudest thing in the world and yet so delicious. But shimmer, Lorexy shimmer, is a subtle way to do that moment of wonderful reflection around your face that brings you alive. Yes. And that's what this is about. And I think that when I look, this is like my palest shimmer that I've got. But when I do this, I've actually put on Chloe's necklace for the first time. This is a very subtle shimmer. And I did a palette also today of all the colors that I feel go with shimmer. The reason I mention this now is if you wear shimmer, do have that glow continuing on your face because very matte makeup, it makes it such a contrast and it doesn't allow the shimmer to work its magic. It loves to pick up on other things. So that's why I adore just, you know, that, that sort of flow from your face to your clothing. But I'm starting with my favorite thing ever, Lucy. This is like Cosper wear. This seven or eight year old Zara sort of tunic is probably about 2p because it cost me originally, I think, 29 or 39 pounds. I've always worn it over trousers because the slit is so high here. Now, is that the slit it came with or is that a Trini Woodall slit? No, that is the slit it originally came with. You know me too well. Let's talk the joy of tunics generally because what tunics do, do is they allow you to kind of cover yourself and you might have a dress, Lucy, which you are not wearing, which is like a sort of long shift dress. So you could consider repurposing and putting slits all the way up to your waist and making it a tunic. Mm -hmm. And then what allows you to do is wear it with trousers. And I think a key component of wearing tunics over trousers is the trousers have pockets because I like to slouch in a tunic style and I like to put my hands in my pockets. And there's one thing I'm going to show you that doesn't have pockets and I'm always going, ah! I love the diaphanous see-throughness of this. I wear it with my sort of nudie bra, which I think I got from Bodus, but it might have been somewhere else. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've got a trainer on. And I tried it. This is the thing we discussed last week. I tried it with a tight trouser underneath, but I just love that flow. Yeah. These are our favourite Zara trousers. Love those trousers. They were in blue Do you have them in season. every colour? I have them in yellow, black blue of this season and this color, the ecru. Whilst we're here, I've worn it with my lovely cape from Zara, but I would also wear a jacket over like that. Yeah, you know. it's the easiest piece to wear. I don't think there's ever a woman that I have not been able to do dress over trousers with. That's one way I do shimmer and I generally dress it down. I wear it on holiday or I wear it in London during the day. Oh, another way I wear it is I wear it with the, my, my 10 pound necklace from H&M. And I like the fact that it can make you feel quite square. And if you have a boobs, especially finding these tiered necklaces, which give that um, appearance of a deep V. So a lot of women who have big boobs to wear a round neck sleeveless is challenging because they feel they become uni boob. So you need a necklace which does this. And there are many, I could bring up 10 necklaces that do that grading like that. And the color with it is phenomenal. Yeah. And I also have a yellow workout bra, neon one from Sweaty Betty, which I sometimes put underneath. Nice. Yeah. So very versatile. I could, I could show you 10 ways alone of wearing that. But let's move on to some other favorite metallics. This is another huge investment piece for me, Lucy. From Topshop years ago, I remember how many times people would say to me when I wear it, where's it from? And I want to show you, this is about pussycat bows and shimmer. So having a shimmer shirt, we'll show you in a minute with jacket why it's so great. But when you might have shirts that have like, you know, that kind of pussycat thing. And I think you don't always have to do what it says on the tin. So the classic way is you put it up and you go round. Okay, that's the most classic pussycat, which I think any woman can do. And funny enough, if you have boobs, a pussycat behaves in the way that necklace behaved. It gives you a breakup of a round neck and potentially high neck shirt with something going on in the middle so it breaks up your boobs. But sometimes I just like to have tails. 
So consider just doing tails. You know, those little tails can be a little tummy protection. The other way is to have it clean and just tie it at the back, which is yep. Nefertiti-ish. And then you can yes. put a necklace on, because I wouldn't put a necklace on with the tails as well. So if I had it like this, then I could consider my sort of gold necklace moment. And I do like to layer gold on gold, so I would do that, but I wouldn't do with the tails. And can we just point out that that necklace is vintage? This is an old vintage YSL necklace. I mean, I should make it for you ladies. That is a Essentials Antwerp, and that's I got from a lovely girl in Scandinavia, I think in Norway, and I bought it off her for 30 euros. She was one of my contributors to a show. And then the final way I wear this is I just tuck it in. Because sometimes, you know me, I like a clean neckline. What a shimmer shirt does is it brings to life the most boring classic items. So I'm wearing now a blazer, new blazer I got in the sales at Joseph. It's a Gabriella Hurst blazer. It's very pretty, actually. It's just a classic navy blazer. You know, when you're tired on a day and you wear just that shimmer at your neck, you can see what it does. So then makeup wise, I might do with this because it's quite cool. I might do victory. Do you see victory is actually the color of the shirt. And I like to have a little bit of everything on my eye. So I pop that on, easy peasy. And then I might, because I'm heading towards, not winter, but I might just do a little bit more on my lips. I'm going to do lip love in Sasha and take that last bit of the victory and the Sasha, rub it together in my fingers and put it on my cheek. Oh, nice. Okay, moving on. How about shimmer in trousers? Now, it might be scary, Lucy, because you know, you feel they're gonna reflect everything. Okay, so that's before little things don't want to wear them, try them on in the dress room thing. I want some shimmer trousers. I saw it on Tony's Instagram, but no way. To seamless, Lucy. You know, a few of you have said to me last week, why am I wearing support underwear? It's about creating shape and it's about making things seamless. So if you feel you don't have a waist, support underwear can give you waist. Spanx has tons of waist things. Other brands like Heist do. If you feel your legs are wobbly, Heist Studio does amazing suck me in tights. Lorexy shimmer is very thin. And so I feel that confidence. I feel that body confidence that no cellulite will show through. Yeah, I always wear spanks underneath anything. You do. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, I think it just gives one that, you know, and they're so breathable now. When they first came out, they were like, really like, you were like a sausage stuck, sausage meat in a sausage. And now it's not like that. Um, this does come with a jacket. Uh, of course. So I did invest in my first shimmer suit. It's Momoni, Mom Momoni. Um, a while ago. It makes me feel really good. I, I love this. And I would even then just, you know, because I'm me and that's the way the cookie crumbles, but I would uh, add on some sequin in the form of a bag and I wouldn't think twice about it. But then sometimes when you wear shimmer, you think, you know, what do you wear underneath? You could wear plain white like that. And that's kind of, you know, that's chilled, relax. Like this could be a white t-shirt and a little, you know, a little egg necklace or something, you know, just a little drapey thing. Or you could do this. Shimmer with shimmer. Shimmer with shimmer. Slightly, I'd like to say, diffuses the shimmer. It's like you're wearing a mirror underneath your face. So even if you had no makeup on, this, can you just see that reflection mm -hmm. is incredible. I'm thinking I've got warm and I've got neutral slash cool. I'm wearing them together because I sort of sit in a neutral. And we discuss cool, warm, and neutral a lot. It can be confusing, but most of you are learning on that journey now that, you know, if you have warmth in your skin and hair and eye, you veer towards warm. If you've got very cool hair with no red in it and you have a skin tone which has no red undertone or too pink here in undertone, um, and your eyes are very clear in their color, you'd be cool. Everything else, shove in the middle and you can wear sort of silver and gold. Jewelry helps you know, if you can wear silver and gold jewelry, which I can, I then wear something with a little bit more bronze to it and then something with a little bit more silver to it. Yeah. Okay, so for, for makeup wise, I can go either way and I'm thinking, what do I do? And I'm thinking, hmm, I've got the gold on my eye. So what I just add in, a little bit of silver. So I've got star like that, can you see it? Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna go back to, sun and star 
together yeah. and I'm just going to mix it in and then the star becomes sun. So I'm just doing the same with my clothing as I am with my makeup. But it adds a little extra. You know, we like a little extra. And then I might do lip wise, I might just put, uh, I know, bunny, 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 whoopsie, bunny, which is our sheer shimmer. There. And then I've done this. Another little trick whilst we're here is sometimes I think look suit shirt collars, but other times I feel if you wear a lapel and a shirt collar, it can look a bit busy. So on days mm -hmm. when you want to be cleaner, and I do this so often with shirts, is I tuck in the collar and I just do up the button and it just gives a slightly cleaner, sharper finish. Oh. You know, and I do that with so many shirts, especially if you want to elongate your neck. Do you see it? it's given a whole new look to it? Yeah, I mean, no, you guys can't see my face, but I've just got my mouth open because you just did that so seamlessly. Yeah. And it's a great trick, especially when you've got shirts that feel very like they're work shirts. And yeah. you want and a work shirt to you represents a collar. So if you tuck it in and still do up that top button, it changes the shirt. And a mandarin <laughs> shirt, I always imagine a non-work shirt. So it takes yes. me to a different zone. It's really nice. Thanks, Sally. Okay, Luz. This is something that, you know, I wear a lot. My jeans from Systems Humanity with a white trainer, and this is like that plain white top from Cos, which is longer at the back. Yeah. So I wear that a lot and sometimes I have something in my bag. I have this in my bag a lot, which just switches out my mood. So this was given to me by two lovely ladies, Electra, who um, has Electra Flush Flush, and Pia, who's a lip cheek, for my birthday three years ago. It's from Saint Laurent and it's a little piece of bloody shimmer lorex. That's all it is. Probably it costs them an arm and a leg but I use it so often just to change an outfit, you know? And it just brings yeah. the outfit and raises it up. And also, as usual, it's giving that lovely um, metallic on my face. And when I'm traveling, you know, when you kind of have that plain, I hope I have it again soon, that sort of plain face, you know, when the plane takes all the life yeah. out your face. And sometimes I've had to go from mm -hmm. plane straight to an event or something and I'll put on makeup and stuff. But this is my true best friend. So I've always yeah. been searching for this fabric. I'll show you close because you could make it, ladies, easily. There's the fabric. And what's clever about this is the shape. And I think that's where they've done really well because it's not just a line. It's actually, and look at the difference without, look. Um, yeah. is that it's slightly wider and it has a little tip here so you can fold it over and then it goes thinner so let me show you like this so it's like that in the middle and then it just yeah. goes thinner at the end and then there's a little I've lost the weight on one side but there's a weight they put in and that weight is great because the weight makes it all work and when I put this on I fold it like that, and like my little scarf thing, I do back to the back first, and then to the front. So, so good. So good. It's just, yeah. we, we've got to make these ladies. We've got to make these and give them, sell them to each other as gifts. Give them to each other as gifts. But if anyone can find that fabric, please, can you DM me? Look, Gossima silk. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we just couldn't mention Shimmer without mentioning this coat. This uh, the Osman coats. I mean, many Trini tribers will have met me in this coat. And this is a coat I got from Osman, a wonderful British designer. And it was in the sample sale. It was £120. Um, it was originally a lot more than that. The worst thing of this coat is I lost the tie, which killed me, Lucy. Killed me. I lost the tie and also it's too big for me. So you can see I have a safety pin in the back. I think you can see that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. But then... I went to Essentials Antwerp and I saw this belt and it has the crackle, you know, because there are times when I just want to be belted, Lucy. I've taken it to Australia. I've taken it to Dublin. I've taken it to New York. It's in rain or it's in shine and it shines for me when I can't shine. It carries on the shine for me. That's the only way I can describe it. This has been such a good friend to me, this coat. 
Yeah. And I never, you know, whenever I travel, I always, I mean, I'm either probably wearing it, but I'd put it in hand luggage. There are certain things I couldn't bear to lose. And this is one of them. It's such a great coat. Yeah. And this is to me shimmer. And I have another one, which is from Joseph, which before I had this one, I used to wear this other one, which I haven't worn for ages. And I'm going to show you because I'm thinking maybe now it's time for this other one to say hello. And this is a 10, 10 year old, at least 10 years old, maybe 11, 12 years old, maybe 15 years old, cover coat, silver, classic. Oh, I can drape yes. it over an evening dress, Lucy. I can wear it with a skirt, you know. Is it slightly warmer? Yeah, it is slightly warmer. It's, yeah. it's, got, it's wool, actually. I think it's wool with, with um, silk over it. But, oh, but these, wow. you know, this is, Lucy, this is about investment dressing, you know, because these things, you wouldn't get this kind of thing, I think, on the high street. So this is investment dressing, but it's also like Vestiaire Collective, you know, it's yeah, a secondhand exactly. sites. So if you sort of think, actually, I've been inspired by this film and I really want Metallic in my life, just search out. I remember when the Stella McCartney silver Lurex shirt, which I haven't put in this, I ripped it and I went on to Vestiaire Collective and I wrote in Stella McCartney silver Lurex shirt. And out one popped in a size 42, which I should have got for 123 pounds instead of the fortune I paid for it, mm -hmm. which already was a lot. But cost per wear, that is about 5p as well. I mean, my, you know what? My metallics are my most worn things in my wardrobe. It's amazing. Anyway, let me show you my evening looks. Okay, Lucy, this is my day to night moment. Now, this is a bit too much night for day for people, but... I love this little bit of fabric and it's one of my favorite dresses from Essentials Antwerp. But in the day, I will wear it like this with a pair of trainers. And maybe I might do a necklace on it actually, Lucy, that's like fabric to make it more daytimey. Do you see what I mean? To tone down yeah. the shimmer. But that's my sort of daytime moment. And it's like fluid, but it just feels soft and lovely and the length is good and you can cover them off to the sin. Just any long dress like this, put a jacket over and a daytime necklace and just wear them during the day. Otherwise you save them for best. So that's one way to wear it. And this is the second way to wear it. Sexy. sexy. Everything about you so sexy. I love you, Lucy. Um, <laughs> I, what I've done here is I've put silver with silver because I want to keep the flow of the dress. So mm -hmm. this is Essential Antwerp, the dress. It's the one I have in every color. And then it's actually the belt is by them too. And then makeup wise, I've, do, I've gone for that look of doing, you know, kind of a great earring, hair back and a smoky eye. I put it on two seconds, so I apologize for the mess that it is. But I did actually universe all over my eye over everything we talked about. And then I did a little Dido sheer shimmer. Really nice. So where are you going tonight? Oh God, I wish. I oh. think of something, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something, darling. But anyway, I hope this is a good intro too. If you're scared of sequin, then consider shimmer. Look for that fabric. Look for great tops that will elevate a plain blazer. Look for a fun pair of trousers that elevate a white t-shirt. Look for the little tiny soupçon of a scarf that's going to just take you from every day to something special. And then look for a fuck off dress. <laughs> <laughs> but you know i do i i we had a little office get together a couple of weeks ago and i wore this like with trainers and relaxed and i just felt so good in it when you wear a color that really suits you or when you wear some kind of shimmer you know the mood it sparks in you is something very different makes you yeah. up for anything <laughs> um, even egg and spoon races that we did I did egg and spoon races in this and I did sack races in this too um, <laughs> yes you did yeah dresses should be able to take you everywhere so we've got lots of things still on the list ladies and we want you now to tell us we've got arm still which I am building up it's nearly there we've got green and I've got purple building up too a lot of you have asked about purple I feel it's a more wintry shade but I realised I have more purple going from like lilac to nearly blue in my wardrobe than I thought. Yeah, so, so let us know. And if you come up with a new idea, tell us. Yes, please do let us know. All right, cool. Thanks, Trini. Thank you, Lucy. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye. Bye.